SCP-025, object class safe. SCP-025 is a wooden wardrobe measuring 0.97 meters times 0.62 meters by 1.95 meters. Full of clothing dating from a number of time periods. Articles contained within the chest collectively named SCP-025-1 match with styles of decades from the 1920s to the present. The apparel from each time frame varies with regard to style. For example, a polyester striped shirt and a pair of charcoal suit pants both correspond with general styles of the 1970s. The only unifying aspect of every article contained in SCP-025 is that each one is in poor condition. Moths have eaten at much of the collection, and tears and runs are not uncommon. When any item from SCP-025 is put on, the wearer is observed either to die or suffer an injury within 24 hours. The cause of death or injury in these instances is invariably linked to the affirmation of flaws in the clothing, but only ever appears to be an unrelated incident. Wearing a glove with a fingertip cut off may result in the loss of the fingertip, though a simple kitchen accident like chopping onions, similarly a subject wearing a poncho foot with a sleeve missing, will somehow cause the loss of the uncovered arm, be it in an attack by a wild animal or a vehicular accident that necessitates the amputation of the limb. If placed in a sealed, unfurnished enclosure while wearing an item from the chest, the wearer will either seemingly spontaneously contract a flesh-eating disease that begins in the areas not covered by the clothing, or suffer the failure of an organ located beneath an imperfection in the article. Diseases arising from such incidents may or may not be contagious. No study has been successfully undertaken due to the speed at which the strains observed run their course. Recommended that, if possible, samples of the disease be taken to lab for possible weaponization. Following is an abridged testing log of SCP-025. More thoroughly testing, more thorough testing will accompany the declassification of the document in its entirety. Test log SCP-025, Section One. Subject D-778, a 42-year-old white male. Article 1940s era white tuxedo. Imperfections, torn seen in left shoulder. Test results. Subject was allowed free roam of the halls under agent supervision. For approximately 45 minutes, nothing eventful occurred. However, at security tapes and eyewitnesses indicate that D-778 appeared to make an attempt at attacking agent he, in turn, overcame the subject with a knife, causing an inch-deep gash in D-778's left shoulder, precisely at the point where the tuxedo seam was ripped. Test halted, subject later terminated. Subject D-690, a 26-year-old white male. Article 2004, Box and Red Sox, Baseball Cap. Imperfections. Missing size adjuster in the back of a cap, logo and front partially removed. Test results. Placed in a steel room with the subject was a table on which were a loaded Jericho Baby Eagle 9mm handgun, a grill lighter, and a hatchet. D690 chose to wear the cap backward for the test. Potential effects of the decision on the outcome of the test are unknown. Subject expressed reluctance to touch any of the objects on the table for several hours. Food and water were provided as necessary. After four hours of general inactivity, subject picked up the handgun and examined it. While holding it at roughly eye level, the weapon discharged into D-690's forehead where the size of the band would have been. The round exited the subject near the part of the hat with the missing part of the logo. Subjects D-736, a 22-year-old white male, and D-771, a 23-year-old white male. Article, Burgundy Striped Sweater Vest, dating from 1973. Imperfections, articles seem to, be, to have been partially eaten by moths, several large holes in front of the sweater. Test results, D-736 was asked by researching staff to wear the sweater vest, which he did under duress. D-771 was given a loaded handgun out of sight 
of the other test participant and instructed to, on a given st signal, fire all six shots in the direction of D-736. After doing so, it was noted that every shot fired passed through one of the holes in the sweater vest, leaving the clothing intact and killing D-736. Firearm retrieved. Surviving subject transported back to quarters. Subject D-771, a 23-year-old white male. Article, sweater vest from above trial. Imperfections, same as mentioned. Test results, D-771 was this time placed in an empty room, dimensions 15 meters by 15 meters by 15 meters. Only subjects in the enclosure were lights overhead. Subject initially complained of boredom that lay on his back and went to sleep. After two hours and 14 minutes, two of the fluorescent light tubes in the ceiling began suddenly dislodged and fell. Both landed squarely on holes in the sweater, shattering upon impact. One of the tubes broke into jagged pieces that impaled D-771 in several areas, but only again through gaps already present in the sweater vest. Subject's vitals persisted for another six minutes and ceased. Further testing locations will be selected to minimize possible damage to the surrounding area. Subject, doctor, unplanned experiment, and identified an unidentified individual left an article from SCP-025 on doctor desk that looks similar to an item of his own clothing. Any information about this incident and or the perpetrator of the same to report it immediately to senior staff. Article, lightweight scarf dyed a number of colors. Imperfections, heavily pulled seam caused scarf to be considerably shorter and tighter in the middle. Test results, according to his itinerary doctor, Wearing the item from SCP-025 was an en route to the enclosure of SCP on for routine testing. However, he diverged from his intended path and began in a direction towards an entirely separate wing of the facility. Subject then entered the enclosure of SCP-173 without gathering accompaniment or following safety procedures and upon hearing the door closing, blinked cause of death listed as strangulation resulting from a crushed windpipe. Subject D-802, a 30-year-old Hispanic female. Article, a 1980s flash dance style white skirt. Imperfections, right shoulder removed, left sleeve completely cut off, entire bottom hem shred shredded. Test results, all present were presumed infected and quarantined and all further tests involving 1980s era fashion have been postponed indefinitely due to the expenditures and safety hazards presented by the aforementioned experiment. Full cleanup estimated to take an additional weeks. Special Containment Procedures SCP-025 is only to be opened during testing as is the room in which SCP-025 is stored. Entry codes are to be given only to authorized research and security personnel. No other containment protocol is required. Hey guys, Wicked here. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe for more content. Until next time. Wicked out.